I mean, it's growing down there. Dan O'Carmack and her husband have lived in the Leland area for more than 50 years. We live out on Mount Misery and used to, that you never saw anything out there. And now you can't even pull out of our driveway hardly. I mean, it's just there's housing developments coming out and all down Village Road, all the apartments. Local leaders agree the population in the area has exploded. The town of Leland went from 2,000 people in the year 2000 to nearly 20,000 people today. And Brooks says the town is doing its best to keep up with the growth in demand. We put the infrastructure in place to, to hopefully meet those needs, but you know sometimes the growth is is so fast that you know even if you're planning for it, uh, you're still you know you're, you're just checking those boxes as you go. Architectural plans for an eight million dollar municipal park expansion are approved. There's also a possibility of adding on to the recently built town hall in the future. With all those influx of people, you have to provide things for them to do. We have commercial growth coming. We have a lot of new restaurants that are on the way, lots of new shopping opportunities. It's very important to have everything local. For us, you know, there's the medical facilities, uh, there's the grocery stores. And while Carmack understands the importance of change, she hopes the growth isn't too much for the town she loves and calls home. I'm not so sure I like a really large town. It was so small and we just liked a small town and now it's grown and you have to adapt. In Leland, Brandon Shope, Spectrum News.